Today I'm going to be doing collard greens and here we have a mixture of turnips and collards and so I'm probably just going to mix my turnips and collards together because you can really cook them the same way. I'm going to thin these out. They're ready to be thinned out and so I'm going to try to space these about every three you know about three inches apart or so. So I'm going to be pulling that up and then taking them in, washing them and making the best turnips you've ever had. I just finished cutting off the roots because that's where most of the sand and dirt and all are. And now I'm, I filled up a five gallon bucket and I'm gonna put all of my turnips and all, you know, all my greens, all my turnips and my collards right down in the bucket, okay? Then I'm going to swish it around and all of the debris should fall to the ground or fall to the bottom. I'll have to do this several times to make sure that it's all off. Remove them to another pan, take them out, and remove them to another pan. And then you're gonna empty the bucket of water and refill it back up. And you can see how dirty this water is. It is just like way dirty. So I'm going to pour it out and start back over again. Okay, we've got our turnip greens and collards all ready. If they have a vein in it, you'll need to just pull the leaf right off of the vein, put it right there, and I like to have a scrap bowl next to me, but you can do it over a trash can, and just pull it right off so that it'll be nice and tender when you cook it. And also, um, you know, we have some of these, they're kind of baby turnips um, because it's still October, they're not quite completely big yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here too because it'll add a little bit of flavor. It's been about two minutes and my whole crew came in and helped me do this, so I got it done really fast. Get your kids in and have them help. They help eat it and have them help to do it. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here and move my bowl. And now we're gonna get to the cooking process. This is my favorite part. First, what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of olive oil and heat it up in my big, the biggest pot that you have. I really love working with my copper pot. It gets everything really evenly cooked. And um, you'll have to add these collards in batches because it will be too massive, but they shrink down so incredibly fast. So I'm getting my uh, oil hot and I'm about to put my one onion in the pot. Okay, and I'm just gonna get that sauteed and in just a minute I'm going to put my garlic in. I'm going to tell you a little bit about collards. They're so high in vitamin K and they're high in folate, which is a part of the vitamin B um, vitamin. It is, I'm low in that and so for me, collards and greens and you know like kale and um, Brussels sprouts and some of those things are really good for me to have and it gives me more energy. And so collards give you energy. These are green glaze. This is a green glaze variety and it's from the 1820s. And so I love cooking with old historic vegetables. It just makes me kind of feel like, you know, I'm part of a big family. I love the, the heritage and the, how, you know, our ancestors grew them right outside their back door and I'm growing the same things that they grew right outside their back door. We also plant these for our deer in our green fields. So when we go and harvest a deer, a lot of times my family will just pull these right up out of the ground and bring them home for us and we have them together. They, they go really nicely together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. I love, love, love garlic, and I especially love it in turnip grains and collars, kale, venison and duck, um, pheasant, quail, everything goes great with greens. Now, I'm gonna start adding my greens in. You just wanna add them slowly. I may can fit these all in here, but if you can't, just give it a minute for them to release some of their moisture. They take about an hour to cook, so you can just have that going while you're making what I'm about to make in a few minutes, which is a stuffed venison loin, and then it'll all be ready at the same time. You're going to put about four cups 
of stock, and I have beef stock, but you can use chicken. It doesn't matter what you have. Two cups of wine, white wine. Some salt and pepper. And some red pepper flakes. I only added a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, but you can add more to it if you want it or not at all. But really, I think it tastes great with a little bit of um, heat. Okay, so you're gonna bring that to a boil and then turn it down to simmer and let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna get these collards and turnips, put them in my bowl, and serve them up on the table.